Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Destiny. I'm Death from Above. Today, I want to bring your attention to a hand cannon that may have gotten lost in the shuffle. So I feel like that guy in Happy Gilmore that's watching the ball at the very last putt at the very end of the movie. Everything's exploding. Crazy things are happening. Hold on. Wrong movie reference. That's Caddyshack. Either way, he's watching the ball at the end of the movie in Caddyshack. The greens are exploding. The guy's trying to kill the gopher, but that one judge is looking at the ball, and he's like, is it going to go in? Is it going to go in? I feel like that guy. You know, everybody's getting excited about Age of Triumph. They're getting excited about the Fatebringer returning the old raids, and I'm like, let me check out some of these guns here. So I have the How Dare You hand cannon that I want to take a look at and talk about it and go into a little bit more detail. What I like to do in my videos is talk about each gun, go over the base stats, flavor text, uh, talk about my experiences in PvE and PvP with it, and then I'll let you know if I think it's a fun gun or not. And sometimes I do it live on Twitch. If you want to check out that link in the description, it'll be there. And you might see more of me there as well. So anyway, uh, taking a look at Roni 5530's inventory, you'll see that the, uh, the How Dare You is not impressive. It's one of the higher rate of fire, lower impact hand cannons. Does have luck in the chamber, but no rifled barrel. Mulligan's okay. Icarus is okay. Explosive rounds are okay. Hammer Forge is okay. Um, nothing amazing for it, but you'll see. If you get the right talent set up on it, it's a an incredibly fun gun. So let's take a look at my How Dare You. We'll talk about it in a little bit more detail. Then we'll get into some gameplay. So my How Dare You, it's still a medium impact, medium to low impact high-ish rate of fire for a hand cannon. It reads, you think you're so great. I feel like this is a 70s disco song reference that I may understand. If not, either way, I still like it. Anyway, uh, the How Dare You hand cannon, not amazing base stats. Uh, it's not a Hawk Moon, it's not an Eyes Luna, it's not a Palindrome. It's got less impact, higher rate of fire than those. Uh, but it's an interesting gun because of how mine drops. So I got Mulligan, I got Spray and Play, I got Rifled Barrel, Lightweight, and Reactive Reload. Now I would have trashed this if it didn't have uh, Rifled Barrel. I'd be like, ah, that doesn't matter. Rifled Barrel and a Hand Cannon is kind of a necessary perk right now. So I've got the Steady Hand, the Fast Draw, and the Quick Draw on it as well. Uh, so I'm running Steady Hand, I'm running Spray and Play, I'm running Rifled Barrel, and I'm running Reactive Reload. And I think this is the type of gun that the roll... Uh, the roll signifies how good it's going to be. It's not necessarily like the Eyes Luna where it's just good or the uh, Palindrome where it's just good. Um, rifle Barrel makes those guns great. This gun, Rifle Barrel, makes it a good gun. Uh, and then you throw on top a little sprinkling of those other talents I have. And I, re I was really interested to see how this gun was performed. And I was actually surprised. I, I looked at it and I thought, hey, it's going to be it's gonna be a good gun. It's going to be fun. And I was surprised how much I liked it. So I'm a little bit used to the Palindrome. And it's a very similar feel to that gun. Uh, stability is not the best, but it's not awful either. So I kind of didn't have a problem with the stability. So uh, PVE and PVP performance. In PVE... Uh, it didn't surprise me. It was it played exactly how I thought it would. Uh, it's a mid-impact, mid rate of fire hand cannon. Uh, it hits good. It's got a good size mag. So the 10-round mag I really like for PvP or for PVE. It makes uh, it makes more sense. It works out better. It's more uh, it's more of a crowd pleaser, quote unquote. So it's a uh, it's a good gun in PVE. If you like running hand cannons, this one will work you good. Uh, if it had an outlaw, it'd be a little bit better. Spray and play is good. I like spray and play. It's helpful. Uh, I wish it had Outlaw Reactive Reload, that way you can get the immediate reload right after a kill and then use your Reactive Reload bullets, but since mine has Spray and Play, either I gotta get to the end of the mag to get a fast reload or do a slow reload and get Reactive Reload to happen. Uh, but I find it's kind of an either-or situation. Uh, both perks are useful. Uh, they don't synergize as well as I'd like, because usually when you're spraying and playing, your Reactive Reload is gone. But if you do get a kill with that final bullet, uh, Reactive Reload, Spray and Play, We'll proc at the same time and you'll have a nice little fast reload and uh, you'll be good to go. Now the reload, I'll, I'll let you know, is not bad. Uh, I was using uh, hand cannon loader gloves on it the whole time, but the reload is solid. I don't mind the reload speed on this gun. And PV, uh, PVE reload was fine. There were some moments where I was like, ah, I wish it reloaded faster. Outlaw would have been nice. Uh, but all in all, PVE, it's solid, a solid gun. I was surprised at how solid it was. Now there's much better choices obviously, but it didn't disappoint. So this is your only hand cannon. I mean, you'll be fine. Now, let's talk about PvP. Uh, a place I thought the gun would do well, but the place I was actually very surprised. So, uh, Palindrome, Eyes Luna, those archetype guns, they're two to the body, one to the head, kill. 
This is a two to the head, one to the body kill. It's still a three bullet kill. You just got to be a little more, a little bit more accurate with those bullets. I believe it did 77 to the head. So two of those to the head, one of those to the body. You'll take most everybody out. You, there may be a guardian with the high armor that you leave with a sliver, but I believe most guardians you're going to take out with that combination. So I was noticing a lot of three bullet kills. I didn't have any trouble three bullet killing people. And if you get all headshots, obviously they're going to go, they're going to go bye bye. So. Uh, it performed very, very well. Uh, stability was a lot of a lot of fun. I mean, I didn't mind the stability, the uh, the perks and the talents. I didn't notice them as much in PvP. I was just noticing the rifled barrel. It gave me that extra range. A lot of bullets in the mag made it an easy gun to use. I don't like the seven round mag uh, hand cannons like the well because you just run out of bullets too soon. So this one, I had ten. I felt like a lot of bullets, and I was getting a lot of kills with it. And I was really enjoying how it was working out well, and I actually went, instead of going hand cannon sidearm, I went hand cannon sniper with the icebreaker, and I felt that was an excellent compliment, because uh, something about this hand cannon feels close range. Uh, it feels very close range, so you need something to extend your range out. Uh, so I just, I reached right out with that icebreaker and just took some noggins, and uh, I was very proud of myself. Some MLG snipes you might see in a later video. Tell you what, that icebreaker was enjoyable, but... Uh, as far as how dare you, the how dare you goes, solid gun. I liked it in PvP. Now, different talent setups make it uh, not as enjoyable, probably. Like the vendor version is probably not going to be as good in PvP. Rifle barrel is almost a necessary talent on a hand cannon at this point. But uh, what do you guys think about the how dare you? Have you ever used it? Do you have it? What do you like about it? What don't you like about it? And uh, let me know your roles on it if you got a really, really good one. I'm interested to know. Uh, but anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. If there's another gun you want me to check out, let me know in the comments. I do get a lot of inspiration from the comments and Twitch chat. I don't doubt it. I put up a video today that it was suggested to me yesterday. I thought that's a very good idea. So anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Death Above. Leave a like if you did enjoy this. Subscribe if you want to see more. I just hit 4,000 subscribers today. Woo! Big party. Big party. Um, in my head. Anyway, <laughs> thanks again for watching, guys. Love your face, and I'll see you later. See you, bye.